All right, excitement is building at Sonoma State University. Students are taking part in a project to send a small satellite into space. A rocket carrying that satellite was launched, scheduled to launch from Vandenberg Air Force Base tomorrow. The launch has been postponed because of all this weather we're having, but John Ramos heard from students who are eager to put their learning into orbit. With the weather currently over California, the launch date is now wait and see. But when the rocket does finally take off, in some ways it will be taking a small part of Sonoma State University with it. The university is part of a project called 3U Cubed, helping to create a small satellite about the size of a loaf of bread that will soon be launched into orbit. It separates from the rocket and then it starts to fall towards Earth, but it's falling so fast that it keeps going around Earth and then comes back around. That's the way all satellites work, and they can stay up there for years, even decades, before coming back down. But Dr. Laura Petacolis at Sonoma State says we are currently in a season called Solar Max, where huge storms on the surface of the sun are throwing particles at the Earth, having a negative effect on orbiting vehicles. And they were deorbiting way before they were supposed to, so it ended up costing a bunch of money that we weren't expecting to pay. So we want to understand what's making that happen. That's what the 3U cubed satellite will be studying, and it will be monitored from the roof of one of the school's buildings. Okay, so this receiver will gather data for about five to 10 minutes every 12 hours as the satellite passes overhead. They're particularly interested in a focused area called the cusp, which sits high up on the globe. Let's say my hand is the cusp region above my head, right? And then I'm Earth, so, you know, 24 hours, I'm going to rotate. I'm spinning around like this under that region. If Dr. Petacolis seems excited by the project, it's because things like this are usually reserved for large research institutions like UC Berkeley. Sonoma State is considered a teaching university, but she thinks there is an important benefit to including them. Doing research with students is a way to train the next generation of teachers and professors. And so teaching universities need these kind of real life experiences so that our students can go out and speak about what it is to be engineers and be scientists and be computer scientists in the real world. And that excitement seems to be contagious. I was pretty like hesitant in like diving deep into physics, but after I took the first semester, like I started to like fall in love with it. It's a small school, so it's kind of hard to not be passionate about some, such a small like program, you know, so everyone here knows what they're doing. They know what they want to teach and it's very specialized. So uh, I do enjoy my time here. That may be a bit ironic because physics is one of the majors that was eliminated along with team sports in last year's budget cuts. The hope is that the 3U cubed project and the passion of those who still teach the subject will cause the physics program to come back around for review.